Charmaine here and I know it's been a while since I've posted a video. Um, as the title says, I've got bad news, sad news, some good news and some great news plus some May favourites to share with you guys. Now the main reason I haven't posted a video lately is because I've been really sick. I'm starting to feel a little bit better today. It's been like five days of feeling That's really bad problem. news, but hopefully that will be good news soon because I'm hoping that I will start feeling really good really soon. Let's cross our fingers. Um, I also, another reason why I haven't posted a video, which I guess has contributed to me being sick, is that I had some really tragic news happen um, just over a week ago and my grandpa passed away. And it's been a really tough, emotional, um, like, week, and it's been really, really hard, but I guess when I look at his life, he was 87, and he had such a full, fulfilled life, and that brings a lot of peace to me, and I guess it's just sad, because he, we used to have a granny flat in our house, and he used to live there, and um, for the main part of my whole life, um, he was he was there every day, so... It was really sad to say goodbye to him, but um, I guess that's the circle of life, right? I actually did a video up in his, uh, a tribute to his life, which um, was used at the funeral. I'll post a link below if you guys want to check it out. You're more than welcome to. Okay, so let's move on to some really good, happy news. Um, the good news is that from two weeks from today, I'm actually leaving to go back to America. I'm like so happy and so excited that I'm going back. Uh, the last time I was back there was in January for my birthday, but I'm heading back over, which is really great news. So we're flying into LA. We're going to spend maybe a week in Vegas. Then we fly to Boston. We're about there for a week and a half. Then I fly back to LA because I'm meeting my girlfriend here from Australia and we're doing some wedding shopping together, which is going to be really good. And then um, we fly back to Florida. And from there, it's kind of up in the air because I just don't know what our plans are for the future, whether or not we're going to stay in America or come back to Australia. It's kind of, I'm kind of not sure, but I'll definitely keep you guys posted on my movements. But I'm just so excited that I can hit up all the shops again and um, your prices in America are just so much better than Australia. So I'm really, really excited about that. Okay, and the great news that I wanted to share with you guys, and um, I have you guys to thank as well for it, is that I became YouTube partner this week, and this is something that I've been kind of striving for since I started making videos in February, and I'm so happy. I didn't even apply because I didn't think, I thought you had to have a thousand subscribers before you could even apply, and I'm not there yet, but YouTube actually sent me um, like a a pre-approval to become partner so I was really happy when I um, got that through and it's all gone through and it's just so good because now that I can personalize my page a little bit more and um, put a bit of personality into it and I can I guess the main thing is so that I can kind of choose the thumbnails for my videos and they won't be pictures like this which is kind of how I feel right now actually but yeah, it's really exciting news and I'm really happy and I just wanted to say thank you and a shout out to all you guys who have been really, really loyal to me and following me and supporting me and sh just everything. So thank you so much. Okay, so we'll get on to the goodies for the month of May now. I didn't do that much shopping in the month of May. Some of these things that I've had for a little while, some are brand newies and I just wanted to share just a few of them with you because I didn't have that much compared to normal months. Alright, so I'll get started <coughs> um, with this toner I've been using. I actually bought this a while ago, stopped using it, and then went back to using it. Absolutely love DDF products. They're really, really good. And um, this is the toner. It's just 10%. And I will do this uh, at night. I won't do it every day, but maybe like every second, third day. And I'll just um, apply this on a cotton swab all over my face. And you can really feel it working. Like I'm really liking that product. Um... <clears throat> my MAC concealer. This is by far the best concealer I have ever used. I have to say, um, I was using the Benefit Boing for a while there and then I forgot about this little beauty and I've had this for over a year and it still feels feels really full and it's just a select cover up and I'm in NC20 and it's just, a little bit goes a really long way at this stuff and I'm really, really loving it. Okay, uh, this next one is, you might find it a little bit strange, but it's hydrogen peroxide, 
And I've been using this for two main reasons um, lately. I have been using it as a, like a mouthwash to whiten my teeth. And um, the second most beneficial way I've been using it lately is on any kind of nasty pimples that I get. Uh, you know, like big blistery sore pimples. Normally around that time of the month, you know, you girls know that your face breaks out no matter how good your skincare routine is, it still happens. So. I've been dabbing a little bit of this onto any kind of problem areas and I have to say it does sting a little bit but it only lasts for a little, uh, like a second and you'll see that the infected area will kind of fizz up which is pretty gross and then um, it'll actually whiten the area too which is why I really like it. It really takes away any of that redness in your face um, and it's really good before you put makeup on because obviously that redness still shines through sometimes but this will really camouflage the redness and turn the area white and I mean you use this on cuts and grazes on your body and that's what it's recommended for so why not use it on your face I find it really beneficial and I'm really liking it but just be careful when using it as a mouthwash because it is poison and um, you do have to dilute it I think at one part to six or something like that I think it's something like that. Oh, one, one to nine parts water. So this is really handy. And if you can see, I've used like half of the bottle this month. I've been using it a lot. Okay. Um, did I show this? I don't know. I know I talk about this a lot as my favorite perfume, but it is by far the best perfume out there, in my opinion, at the moment. And it's the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Absolutely love it. I can barely smell it right now because of my cold, but absolutely love this baby and this is my like special occasion perfume and adore. Okay, just a couple of things left guys. I have to share these lipsticks with you because they are the best lipsticks of the moment. I'm absolutely in love with them. They are the Australis Color Inject Mineral Lipsticks. And I'm wearing one on my lips right now. You might not be able to see with the lighting. But it is in Honky Tonks. And it's just this really pretty, it's kind of like a pinky corally color, but it's really soft. I'll swatch it for you so you can have a look. There's the color there. It's so pretty. And um, these are a matte lipstick, but they're really, really conditioning. And... Um, really creamy. Absolutely loving them. So that one's in Honky Tonk, which I'm wearing on my lips right now, um, which is in number... Oh, it doesn't really have a number. Now this one is called Limited Edition 1, and I'll swatch it for you. I'll just first show you, like, I wasn't sure whether to buy this or not because I couldn't actually see the colour besides the bottom. It was wrapped in plastic and there was no sample. And it was a good thing that the plastic was on it because if I had have seen the colour of this lipstick, I wouldn't have bought it. But because that's why, because look at that colour, it's so rich and so dark, and I'm not really into dark lipsticks, but this looks amazing on, like I'll swatch it so you guys can see, it's just this really pretty pinky purpley colour, which is actually the colour that I've been searching for for quite a while, it doesn't look too dark or dramatic on my skin, and I am really fair, and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous, and that's it again, and the colour of this one is just simply called limited edition one and those are both by Australis and they're the mineral lipsticks they're really worth it I think they're about 11 or 12 dollars each but they're really worth the money okay hair product um oh, it's not really a hair product hair tool that I've been using a lot lately is the babyless pro yeah the babyless pro and it's just a conical hair curler um, obviously thicker here going thinner here so you can adjust um, how big you want your your curls thicker or really thin spirally curls the tip doesn't heat up so it is good to use you hold it down and you wrap your hair around it and you can kind of hold the bottom it's supposed to come with like a heat protectant glove which they didn't have any more of when I bought this which is a shame because I have kind of seared my fingers a little bit so you have to be really careful it heats up super quick there's 25 heat settings on it and um, it is such an amazing product like I'm really really liking it you can basically do your whole hair in less than five minutes it's super fast um, the only thing no what was I going to say you can get this um, in the 
in the UK, I think you can get the same one. In America, I think your equivalent to this would be the Enzo Milano, and I know that you can get that in the conical like this, or you can get it in the different barrels uh, up to the two inch or something, I think. But, but yeah, really good hair product, um, quick and easy for on the go, and it really just adds a lot of oomph to your hair, and I'm loving. Okay, last but not least, um, if you're in Australia, you know it just hit winter. Yay for some, boo for others. Kind of a boo for me, but I'm leaving in two weeks to hit the sunshine, so that is fantastic. I'm glad I'm getting this cold out of my system now so I don't get sick. But I did invest in this little baby. Um, this is a hot water bottle cover. Now, in the States, I had such trouble trying to find a hot water bottle cover. Oh, I gotta sneeze. It's gone. It's gone. Um, this is in zebra print, which I'm absolutely loving. It's so cute and it's so warm. So what you do is you just um, put your hot water bottle inside and you just snuggle it. Like it's so, so warm and fluffy and it just does such a great job when it's cold. Like I'll take this to bed with me. Um, I'll snuggle it. I'll put it down in my feet if I'm really, if my feet are freezing. And this is fantastic for that time of the month, girls. You just place it on your belly and it like really helps with any kind of cramps or anything like that. And this was only $10 from Target. So that was really, really good value. Um, and I'll definitely be definitely be using this a lot in the next two weeks and who knows after that where I'll be. So that's everything for my little vlog and um, May goodies for you guys. Thanks again everyone for watching and until next time I'll see you then. Bye!